sometimes you got to risk it all for a dream that you believe in. Um, if you have a dream that's big enough, go all in for it. Either put it, either invest it the time or invest the money, but go all in for your dreams because that's the only way that you're actually going to accomplish anything that you want. You know, you gotta, you gotta burn the ships, burn the ships and go all in and, you know, don't let anybody discourage you. Don't, don't tell your dreams to people. Don't tell your dreams to family members. Don't, don't go out looking for support because one negative comment could throw you off. One negative comment could stop you from going after your dreams. So it's very important for you to learn how to boost your self-confidence. It's, it's, um, you have to learn how to be your own cheerleader and you have to learn how to bet it all. You know, that it, it doesn't matter if you're an investor. It doesn't matter if you're trying to build a business. It doesn't matter if you're trying to make it as an artist or producer. Whatever it is, if you actually want to make it and be a top tier at that, you have to bet it all. And I, a, a lot of people, they don't understand this because I know a lot of people that they play it safe. But when you play it safe, you only, you only get safe results. If you have something that you want to accomplish and you're constantly just watching Netflix, you're constantly just going around chasing girls, you're constantly just going to the club all the time, I guarantee you that you will not actually get the results that you want. And I see a lot of people, they're wasting their time because they don't, they, they say that they, they want to win. They say that they want to accomplish certain things. But when you, like, if you want to actually know if somebody's serious about their dreams, it's two things. Number one, Look at the last five people. Look at if you look at your phone right now, look at the last five people you text. And now ask yourself, was that anything that was business or goal related? Or was it some bullshit that that um that could take you off your purpose, that could take you off your path, or that could take you off your dream? Look at the last five texts. Was it gossip? Was it somebody telling you about the Kardashians? Was it somebody recommending you a show? Or was it somebody that was linking up saying, hey, let's work on this. Let's 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 build a company. Hey, let's work on this investment. Hey, uh, check out this new NFT I just I just invested in. Or hey, check out these stocks. Was it anything that was productive or was it things that would take you away? The second way is to look at the history of your computer. If you look at the history of your computer, that tells you where your time is going. And a lot of people, you already know, if we went... If we had to investigate you and we went through your computer, it'll be a lot of Pornhub and bullshit and it'll be nothing. Um, there will be no history of research that you've been uh, having towards whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. So here's the third thing, your bank account. Go look at your bank account statement. Just look, look what you did for the past seven days or do a whole monthly statement for the past 30 days. Is it, are you, is majority of your money going and being invested towards your dreams is majority of your money being invested towards your goals or, or is it or is it the hole in the walls um places or the dive bars is it just net netflix and hulu subscription is it just um things that have nothing that bring you a roi which is a return on investment if you do those three things you'll know you'll know where you stand and most people if you're watching this you ain't even got to do it you know it if you to if you walk up to a homeless person They'll tell you about their goals and their dreams. So having a goal and a dream doesn't mean shit if you're not actually working towards it every day. That doesn't mean anything. Everybody has a, the worst people in life have like goals and dreams. But you have to actually put in the work in order to accomplish it. And, accomplish it. and most importantly, you can't be, you got to burn the ships. You got to burn the ships and go all in financially go all in with your time become obsessed with it constantly buy courses constantly buy books and ebooks on it constantly pay for coaching calls because I, I guarantee you what I, I guarantee you this if you don't become serious about your dreams you will you won't get it you will suffer and let's be for real we're getting older every day we're getting older I'm I'm, I'm 35 years old so I got about what 35 summers left before I'm out of here, probably, with, with the rate that black men die. So how many summers do you have left? Every day we're getting older. Are you going to keep fucking around and playing around, or do you want to play a bigger game? Do you want to win at a high level? For Do you want to change the trajectory of your family? Do you want to change the income? Do you want to take care of your kids' kids? That's very important because a lot of times 
a lot of times kids have to start over and start start over trying to get it right and have to hustle because the parents, the lump sums of the um, money that the parents got, they just fucked off. They party. They just watch TV. They just bullshit it. And then when they have kids, the kids got to struggle when they're 18 because they don't because the parents didn't not only lay not, the parents did not only teach them a blueprint, a blueprint or give them some type of financial literacy, but they also didn't set them up. They also didn't leave anything behind. So do you want to be, do you want to break the generational curse or do you want to be the person that just, you're young right now, you're young and you have, you know what you're supposed to do, but are you going to step up to the plate and are you going to go all in or are you going to suffer later? It's all cool when you're in your, in, in, um, when you're in your twenties and you just bullshitting, but shit starts getting real. The older you get life starts happening. The bills is never going to stop. So do you want to actually live the life of your dreams, be financially free, and accomplish every single thing that you ever wanted? Or do you want to be a normal person, a 95% of the world who has to live check by check? The 95% of the world who has to be told what to do. They always have the boss. It doesn't matter if your fucking mom died. You have to ask for permission to fucking go to their funeral. Do you want to be a slave, a corporate slave? Somebody who always has to um, wait for somebody to give them a paycheck. Having a boss is like having somebody, like having somebody uh, a daddy. It's like having a slave master. And if you're and if you're cool with that, then that's fine. That's that. This ain't for you. But if you're that five percent that's watching this, and you know you want to play a bigger game, you know that you have some just a cool, some dope ideas that you want to accomplish. You know you have dreams. You know that. You're talented enough to change the world and you know that you could make a difference in this world. Then you got to go all in. So you got to choose. Do you want to be part of the 5% club or the 95% club? Most people are trying to fit in. I don't call them people. I call them sheeple. Most people are sheeple. Do you want to be a sheep or do you want to be a lion? 5%ers are the lions. Five percenters are people that work at a high level. They turn their creativity, they, t they, they know how to manifest, they, they work from a higher self. They work, right? they see something in their mind and then they make, they get to work and they accomplish it. They, they make money off their creativity. They work at a high vibration. They constantly believe in themselves. They don't need, they don't take shit from nobody and they don't need anybody to cheerlead them. They don't have to talk to people about their dreams. So other strangers who are losing could, could give you the uh, okay or nay. No, they believe in their fucking self and they go hard for their dreams every single day. Those are the people where you're on Instagram, you're liking their vacations. You're liking their fucking cars. You're liking all of their moments. Because a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys are settled in pity. A lot of you guys don't believe in yourself so much that a lot of people that you're following, you're living vicariously through their life. Because you're scared to take a risk. So you, so when they win, you feel like you win. When in real life, you didn't win. You ain't win shit. You just imagining yourself doing what they're doing. So, so what life do you want to live? You want to be the sheeple? Or do you want to be the fucking king? Do you want to be the queen? Do you want to be the lion? If you want to be that, go all in and burn the ships.